Today we're going to create a quick 3D door. We need a spatial for our scene. We'll create a CSG mesh, which is going to represent the door. And we need another spatial for the hinge because otherwise we rotate around the center of the mesh. We'll set up our mesh as a cube, resize it and readjust it. Now that we've got our door set up and positioned, we need an animation player to play the door opening animation. Now we don't want to use this add track here because it's a lot easier to come in and use the little keyframes. You might be tempted to rotate by the door. That's actually not what we want. We've got the hinge and we want to rotate by the hinge so that it doesn't rotate around the center point of the door. It looks like the door swinging on a hinge. So if we set our rotation here, we can pivot around our Y axis. We'll go 90 degrees. And then we can delete the X and Z rotation because we don't care about them. We've now got an animation of the door swinging open. Next, we'll set up our area and our area collision shape. That's just going to be a big box and we'll set it up so that as you approach the door, you'll be triggering it. If you're going to resize the collision shape, make sure you do it by these extents. Don't change the scale in the transform, otherwise things are going to get weird. So we'll slide this into position and now it's probably time to make ourselves a door script. We don't care about any of the boilerplate stuff. We'll just create ourselves a new script. We'll save our scene and then we'll set up the signal. In this case, I'm going to use mouse centered because I don't have a character or anything else for the scene set up, but this is just a plain old area callback. So you'll be able to use any collision stuff that you already have. Finally, our script is just calling the play on that animation. And then if you try and run the scene, you realize you forgot to put in a camera. So we'll add a camera stick it somewhere so we can see what's going on and here we go now obviously if you want to take it further you can add a state into the script so that it knows whether it's open or closed you can toggle that you can call methods from the animation player we'll leave it up to you as an example of how to quickly spice it up we could add a mouse exit signal and then we can in our script here just play the animation backwards Suddenly the door opens when we mouse over and it closes when we move away again. 